everybody, I'm Kirsten Gum, and welcome to another edition of Eat, Move, Live LA, where we're encouraging people all over the county to make healthier choices in all aspects of their life. Today, we're in Baldwin Park, a community that's received national recognition for their healthy choices. shopping it can be confusing especially with so many choices out there but here in Baldwin Park shoppers are getting help from a new program and Rosa Soto is the director of the program so tell me how Healthy Selections started. So Healthy Selections uh, started a few years ago with interest by our community residents and our teens to want to find healthy choices in their community. So they needed a way to be able to identify those products in an easy way. So how does the program work? So the program is uh, allowing us to go into the stores and tag some of the healthier products that are available such as your fresh fruit and vegetable sections, your meat and poultry sections, your healthier products in the aisles. So that as you walk into the store, you'll look for a tag or a label to look for those healthier products and make healthy choices easy. It's such a beautiful sign. Who designed that? It was designed by uh, the teens a few years ago, and again, also with you know, to entice them to want to look for the healthier selections. So you got business owners involved, you got parents involved, and children themselves involved in this Healthy Selections program. Absolutely, and that's what it's all about. Everyone in the community working together to make healthy choices easy. Because on the way home from school, there's no parents parents to say, don't have that, have that. That's exactly right. And so you want a, a good, responsible business partner who's willing to take on the program and to you know, have a child be guided when they come into the store to be able to identify the healthier selections. It's really become a citywide initiative of healthy, like a healthy Baldwin Park, if you will. I think it's such a beautiful program and I love to make healthy choices. So let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Okay. Yeah, the nopales. Great. Yeah, they're really good in salads. And then what are these? These tuna verde and these? These are pr uh, prickly pears. Yes, they're Love very, peaches. very good. Oh, look, healthy selection. Healthy selection. There so, is our sign. You know, there's a healthy sign. It's avocados? Yes. The good Absolutely. fat, right? Absolutely. Yum. Always oh, that need one's a few ready, of these. Too. Let's grab some apricots. All right. And these are like. Get about six of those. Yeah. And then I'll get a couple Asian pears for us. So make healthy choices easy in your own community. Perhaps you might want to talk to a manager of a local store or the corner store. Even a council member could help. You can come up with your own program in your own community. I'm here with Eloisa Gonzalez with the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. Now, I've heard the term joint use agreement. Can you explain that a little bit for me? Absolutely. A joint use agreement is essentially a written document between two partnering entities that puts in documentation what facilities each organization is willing to have the other use. And what are some of the benefits to the partners for starting this agreement? Primarily that each partner in this agreement has increased number of um, facilities. So for example, a organization that doesn't have a swimming pool um, can partner with a school district that does have a swimming pool, then the swimming pool would now have access to that organization's football field or track. So each partner has something to bring to the table and so each partner then walks out with more facilities at the end of the agreement. Well that's wonderful. What kind of uh, programs or partners you spoke of would need to be involved to make this agreement happen? Well the school district of course is one of the key ones. The schools oftentimes overlap several cities so uh, it'll be one of the city's parks and recreation departments, the YMCA or a Boys and Girls Club, an AYSO, even a PTA could potentially be a partner. Hmm. Now what are some of the benefits the community for having this agreement. We're trying to increase physical activity levels in our communities. Um, so having easy access to facilities where people can go and have fun and enjoy themselves and be doing physical activity is what really the benefit is to the community. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. When I was growing up, playing with my friends at a local park was how I spent a lot of my pastime. 
Knowing that joint use agreements helps to bring that to today's youth is really important. Everyone should have such happy memories. Identify a park or community space in your area that may utilize joint use agreements and make the community active. How are you doing today? Good! So, I rode my bike here and oh. I understand I get a discount. Yeah, actually you get a free small hot coffee or iced coffee. Right on! Everybody loves a discount and a great deal. And in Long Beach, California, the city is giving its residents incentive to get out there and get moving. Joining me now is Charlie Gandy. He is the mobility coordinator for Long Beach. Charlie, what is this all about? Well, you may have heard of this as BFDs. You know what a BFD is? I don't. It's a bike-friendly district. The business community has come together and said, let's pay attention to the 10,000 households that are within a one-mile range of this business district. And in fact, let's encourage them to get here uh, in a healthy way, either walking or bicycling. And so we're offering them incentives. The, the business community is offering them incentives in the form of, you'll find either a bike rack or a bike corral, uh, you'll find discounts when you walk in because you're a bicyclist and you live in the neighborhood. So what are you hearing from the businesses and from the residents? The businesses are very enthusiastic about this and are applying their own discounts and incentives to get people to come uh, because they see that that's a very valuable customer. So another way that they, they support that and the, and the city of Long Beach is supporting that is through our grant we are seeding each one of these business districts with a, with a fleet of cargo bikes and commuter bikes so that people can check these out uh, as they would a library card and try out a car light lifestyle. It's similar to what they do in Europe, in Amsterdam, right? So you can well, just check and, it out. And it's a realization that most of the trips that we do here in Long Beach are less than two miles long. And so, particularly within a one mile range, uh, a bicycle is a very smart transportation alternative. Well, it sounds like a match made of heaven and I would love to go for a bike ride with you if you can keep up. Well. This is my town, these are my streets, I got my bike, we'll see. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Biking in your community. It's good for local businesses and can be great for your own pocketbook. That's going to do it for this show. For more information, go to ChooseHealthLA.com.